Well, I'll, <laughs> I've proposed a few times. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. That. Yeah. Yeah, just a, an yeah, just a, just a few times. You're always going to be nervous when you go to get engaged. You, you want to do it right. It's got to be perfect. What you're going to say, how you're going to do it. You're going to go down on one knee. You're going to, you're going to stay standing. What, where you're going to do it. I mean, we have been together nine years, but I did think that Dom, I didn't think Dom really has it on his radar. I thought he'd do it eventually. <laughs> so I thought I'd leave it an extra couple of years, and then when she's really just given up all hope. <laughs> that moment when you present and open that box, you want to see that, that magic, that sparkle, and vice versa, you want to see her smile and, and love it. So being nervous is totally normal and understandable. I would be as well, I think. I've been in the, the jewellery trade for 25 years, a long time. When you're looking at engagement ring, you, you have to buy it with confidence. Otherwise, you're going to be presenting this ring and you're always going to be in two minds. Not hopefully about the engagement, but about the engagement ring. So you've got to be confident when you're buying it. Laura went through a lot of different combinations in terms of quite a simple uh, classic, I guess, style. Just something that isn't too like over the top or blingy. This one here is, I really love it because one of our own designers designed this. We've called it the Winchester Collection. So he's taken key parts of the Winchester Cathedral mm -hmm. and he's incorporated it into the design. And I think it's absolutely breathtaking. I love it. I love the way that the stone performs. A more classic style is like really amazing. It goes with everything. Um, I really wanted gold, so he knew that. And I think it's beautiful. Yeah, really, really lovely. It's the right size. Everything about it is kind of perfect. So he did very well. Um, I know a, lot a lot of people come in and they, they don't even know what an engagement ring is. Basically, anything can be an engagement ring. Years ago, and we took many years ago, it was a traditional element that it was a single stone diamond. Now we've moved on so so much. Understand what makes a good diamond to one that's not so nice. The difference in the purities, the qualities. Colourless means there is no trace of any colour. So basically it's a, a clear white crystal. Very similar to this one. Yep. Um, that is not a diamond I might add. Um, but it's a clear crystal um, and it's white. So when you look at it from the side, you just tend to get a, a very clear crystal look mm -hmm. with no colour. Cut has a second meaning. Apart from the shape, it also means how well the facets have been done. If they're done very crudely, it may look a bit glassy and a, and a bit dull. Clarity. The industry would like to say they're nature's fingerprints. If you want me to be honest on camera, then I would say they are inclusions or marks within the stone. Carrots um, basically weight. You can have two diamonds that look totally different, but if they, as long as they weigh the same, they both say one carrot, and then they would both be one carrot stones. Anything is possible. The only limitation when it comes to designing and making an engagement ring is your imagination. We can do anything. We're, we're so lucky nowadays that, especially for us as boroughs, we have our own team of designers and craftsmen. And they are phenomenal. And the things they can create is breathtaking. So if we can literally do anything. You come up with a design, you come in, sit down with us, we can go through it all together. Whether they be colourless or flawless are exceptionally rare. Uh, and as such, there's a premium to pay for them. You'll be paying probably 20% more than the next grade down. Oh, it's gotta be two months salary, it's gotta be three months salary, it's gotta be a year's salary. And they come in, they're scratching their heads and they're like, I, I don't think I can physically afford to get engaged at the minute if it's gonna be like this. Well, I don't think many people would if that was true, but the good thing is it's not. There is quite a hike when you get to one carat, but they're also quite a hike when you get to a quarter carat and half a carat. So if you have a stone that's been cut and it's only 95 points, you may pay 15% less in price. 
walk past the, the shop window as you're out doing just normal shopping and just try and quiz her a little bit. Does she want a single stone? Does she want diamonds going round the stone, which seems to be very, very popular at the moment? Does she want like the three diamonds? Does she like the white metal, meaning like the silver, the white gold, the platinums? Or does she prefer the more traditional or element of the yellow gold? I thought I had quite a good idea of what Hannah would like. Laura went through a lot of different combinations. She asked me about Hannah as a person and things like that as well, which was really nice. So she actually checked in to sort of, you know, and tried to think about her, you as, you know, a person, your personality. I had sent Dom a couple of photos in the past, so he knew uh, <laughs> roughly what I wanted. I know a lot of my friends have said, oh, did you not want to choose the ring? And I was like, actually, he did such a good job that, um, that I'm happy with. <laughs> It, how it is. Everybody's different, and that's the beauty of it. If everyone was the same, there would literally would be just one engagement ring in one shop, and that would be it. So the whole beautiful thing about engagement rings is it's personable. Come in and see me in the Burrells Tumbridge Wells Boutique, and we'll sit down, we'll go through the different designs that are available, and we'll choose something really quite beautiful that your partner is bound to love.